Yo guys, what is up? Penny Game 46 here. Today I'm going to be predicting TLC 2016. So we're going to get right, we're going to get into the main match first. The main event, AJ Styles versus Dean Ambrose for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship in a TLC match. Now, the winner's obviously blatantly going to be AJ Styles. There's no, I just don't see Ambrose taking back the title at all. Eventually, you know, John Cena will come back and take the title. I mean, that's what seems like it's going to happen. But then he came back for that triple threat and then lost and then went for movie shit. So I don't know. It's pretty sure, pretty obvious Cena's going to come back, take the title, and then lose it and then take it once more before it becomes the part time, which he's very slowly turning into with these movies and that. But I think. AJ Styles will win, and then possibly Cena will come, but I doubt it, because I'm pretty sure he's meant to be coming back, you know, late December, or possibly Undertaker comes for Ambrose or Styles, I, don't, I just don't see Undertaker losing, but he might, Styles versus Undertaker, there's no way that I don't reckon Taker's going to win, so Styles have to beat the Undertaker, which is just another good thing for AJ Styles, but I think Undertaker might come back, because he said he was back, even though he's not hasn't really shown up since then. But anyway, AJ Styles is gonna win the TLC match. Next we have the SmackDown women's title match. Becky Lynch versus Alexa Bliss. I reckon Becky Lynch is gonna take the title. Enough said about that, because all the rest of these matches are just boring anyway. Nikki Bella versus Carmella, no DQ Carmella, because she's a new uprising star, whereas Nikki Bella is just old veteran, I guess. Next we have the Miz versus Dolph Ziggler. I want to see Dolph Ziggler win since he just lost the title, which is really stupid. Since he just won it, then he just lost it. But Miz is going to win that in the ladder match. Should be, should just be a TLC match. I don't understand why WWE. I don't get these chairs match and all that crap. Chairs match. Like a no DQ match, Nikki Bell's Carmella. You might as well just have that a chairs match as well. Because a chairs match isn't strictly the chairs. It's just a no DQ match. Just themed around chairs. And they're probably only going to use chairs. But they're allowed to use whatever they want. There's an ODQ that can just use anything, which is probably only going to be tables, ladders, and chairs. And then, like, a tables match makes sense because there's a, like a rule to it. You have to go through a table. Whereas the chairs match is just. It, you're mostly just going to be using chairs. I don't get it. Like, this should. Tables match makes sense. Anyway. Next, we have the chairs match with Kalisa and Baron Corbin. I reckon Kalisa is going to beat Baron Corbin one way or another. Big guy, little guy beats big man. Even though I said that between Kalisto and Rusev for the US title, Kalisto versus Baron Corbin, Kalisto will win. Next, we have the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Rhino and Heath Slater versus White and Orton. I want to think White will win. White, White not will win. I just don't, I don't see Heath Slater and Rhino taking the win here. You've got Bray Wyatt for starters and Randy Orton, and then you've got the rest of the White family that could interfere, like. Eric Rowan and Luke Harper. But then, you know, I sort of might see Orton turning face. Well, not face. He's still face, but you know what I mean? Like, Orton, just like Danny Bryan did once. Remember, they were like in a steel cage and whatnot. I think Orton will RKO Bray Wyatt out of nowhere towards the end of the match. Heath Slater Rhino, 1, 2, 3, retaining their titles. Then you could see Bray Wyatt and Orton win, but I want to see Wyatt win a world, his first championship be a world championship. None of this, you know, freaking tag team title. He's just not a tag team person. With Randy Orton just doesn't make sense because Orton's obviously going to be turning back soon. But then again, they could win, and then a rematch or with against somebody else later down the line. Then Orton make, like costs them the title because he doesn't care about the tag titles with somebody he doesn't like. I don't know. It's hard to book with Wyatt and Orton, but I'm going to go with. Heath Slater and Rhino, it seems, you know, weird, but I think Heath Slater and Rhino will win this match because Orton will turn back to the good side, if you will. And then that is about it for the card. If you guys enjoyed this video, please try to smack the like button, smack it really hard. But I just want to thank you guys very much for watching this video. Sorry this predictions video came out late, I'm recording this the day it came out. Tomorrow we will be releasing our simulation for. Ambrose vs. Styles. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Comment your predictions down below. And of course, I'll see you guys all later.